Hello everybody, it's Mama Brooke here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do my version of um, barbecue chicken. I don't use barbecue sauce, I make my own marinade. I add a little bit of honey, Worcester sauce, some jerk seasoning. I just kind of throw whatever in, but follow along. I have, um, I think, five small chicken breasts, or medium size, and I just washed them in the sink, but I am gonna wash them again with some lemon, lemon here in just about two minutes. But in the meantime, I have in a bowl here some thyme that I overwintered from last summer, and I'm almost out, but summer's here again, and I got a plant in the garden, so I'll get it again. And I just take the, the thyme off the sticks. If there's some sticks left in there, I don't even worry about it because uh, it's just the marinade, and I take it off later anyways. And in this same bowl, I'm going to um, put some, this is a, a maple bacon seasoning sauce. Actually, Rose gave me this, and I haven't really used it, so I thought I'd better use some up. I'm going to do a drizzle of honey in here because I can. This will be my sugar instead of brown sugar in uh what they usually use in, in barbecue sauce, which I'm not using any right. barbecue sauce. So that's about a tablespoon of honey, teaspoon of jerk seasoning, about a half a teaspoon of garlic. I like garlic, do you like garlic? The masala, just a little bit, maybe a quarter teaspoon, not a lot. I use Montreal steak spice, so I'll put probably two teaspoons of that in. W sauce, maybe that's the best way to say it. <laughs> Drizzle of olive oil, like over cilantro, and I'll just that, add that in for some flavor. I don't have much left here, but what I have, I'll just chop up. This is how I cook. I don't measure things and all that, Just, but I tell everyone, just have fun with it. You don't need to be measuring everything out perfect. You know, just use what you have in the house and invent some stuff. Pepper flakes because I like a little bit of heat and everything. I love this container, but the pepper flakes don't come through too good, so. Nah, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper flakes, maybe. Okay, so I washed the chicken in some water and vinegar, because I wash all my meat. Some people don't. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a few little slits into this. My girlfriend Rose bought me this knife. It's great. I just need the next size up, but this one's amazing. Um, some of these are bigger than others. I think there's three small and two big or something. So that's an I just poured lemon juice all over this. I rub it in. I like a lot of lemon juice. Just cuts any germs or anything. Plus it marinates it as well. From here, I am gonna add some curry in here because I like curry. So I don't have proper camera equipment or I would show myself and I don't have a camera guy or an editor or anything like that. I just do my best from what I have. This is me just being crazy Mama Brooke, but this is how things turn out. So this is probably about two teaspoons of curry. Again, I'm a curry lover. You don't have to add the curry to this, but I do. Now you can barbecue this if you want, or you can roast it in the oven if you don't have a barbecue. It turns out exactly the same. Um, it's so bloody hot on my patio today, I might be just roasting this in the oven. This plastic bag, like I always do, and I put it on my hand and I just marinate all this in. And I'll show you when it's all done up. Rub it all into your meat. And I let this sit for a couple hours. It's gonna massage it a little bit more. And this is my barbecue chicken with no barbecue sauce. <laughs> there. This is what I have in the house. I'm gonna do this on some parchment paper and a bunch of roasted vegetables. No potatoes or nothing tonight. So there it is there. I'm going to reserve this into the fridge for probably an hour and a half. I've got the red onions onto a sheet pan here. I've got one with parchment paper. And I'm just going to sprinkle that on. I'll uh, put the mushrooms on the sheet pan as well. I do, I'm just cleaning out my fridge because I need to go grocery shopping in a couple days. Washed up some cauliflower. Um, zucchini, a red pepper, and some Brussels sprouts that I have left over. So I have this great bowl. It's a colander, actually. So it washes everything up really nice. So just take the ends off this. I'm going to eat the whole zucchini. I love zucchini. I make zucchini um, 
um, pancakes sometimes too. I really like them. I make kind of like a, a stick out of it, fry out of it, I guess you'd say. I think I'll be eating this for two nights. The mushroom and the onion for pizza is going to have to wait for uh, another night. What it is, it's Tuesday? Yeah, for two nights. I'll eat half the yellow pepper because this pepper still got a lot of life into it yet. And I'll just slice that up. Eight or ten Brussels sprouts. A couple pieces of cauliflower here. And some Brussels sprouts. And I just take the little end off back. And I do cut them in half because they roast better that way. Okay, I have zucchini, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, leftover mushrooms, some red onion, and some peppers all on one little cookie sheet. Okay, it's not, it's a medium sized cookie sheet, not a large one. And I'm gonna drizzle, this is um, infusion blood orange olive oil. And I'm just gonna drizzle that over the uh, vegetables. Put Parmesan cheese over my zucchini and I'll turn these halfway through. So I'm just going to put that on the zucchini. On top of that, I'm just going to do a little bit of pepper over everything. Just turn this just a little bit, let the oil get on this, on the zucchini. And I set my oven for 400, and that'll probably take about 30 minutes. Okay, on another baking sheet, I'm going to do the chicken on here. And put it in the oven with the vegetables at the same time. It's not want not, all this marinade is going to make it nice and yummy. And I'll show you everything when, I, when it's all ready to come out of the oven. I'll just... So the oven is at about 400. I'll turn it down in a little bit to about 350. Show you when it comes out. Okay, the mushrooms and onions are done now. Um, gonna caramelize them just a little wee bit more for the onion. And then I'm gonna put them in a pan in the, our little uh, dish and put them away until Friday. This way they won't turn bad on me. Mushrooms are done, ready to uh, put in the fridge as soon as they get cooled down a little bit. Okay, the chicken's done and it's resting. Um, the vegetables are just crisping up about another five minutes and I'll be ready to plate. Looks good. Okay, they're out of the oven. I'm just gonna toss them all together in a bowl and I'm gonna sprinkle a little feta over there and some balsamic glaze. And okay, I'm just gonna break a little bit of feta over this, over top while it's still hot. Just a bit. I only got a slice here. I don't a little bit of balsamic vinegar over it. Just like that. And she's ready to serve. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna try the vegetables. I'll try a Brussels sprout. Oh, they're caught together. You can take taste the blood orange olive oil. And let me try the chicken. Looks good. Mmm, it's really good. Amazing. Really, it is. It's simply amazing. Great dinner. I'm going to close, guys. Take care. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. I got the potting shed that I'm going to do up. So that'll be one of my videos in the next, I don't know. Hopefully in the next week. Take care, everybody. Thanks for following. Thanks for liking. Sexy times all the time. Mama Brooke.